G'day guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a Casio calculator to calculate Pearson's correlation coefficient. Uh, we know that by the pronumeral little r, lowercase r. So first of all I need to put my calculator in stat mode. Um, so I go to the mode menu, two for stat, statistics, and I want to use this a plus bx um, option here. Um, I've noticed that as well as having an X column, a Y column, I've got the frequency turned on. So I actually need to go back out of this before I begin. I don't need my frequency column for this. It must be on from last time. I click shift mode. This arrow means I can press down on the replay button. And I want to go into the statistics option number three. And here it is. I want to turn that frequency column off by pressing two. So now I'll begin again by going into the mode, stat, my A plus BX mode, which we'll learn a little bit more about later. And I'm going to use this example that um, if you've been working through the PowerPoint that I created, um, you would have used this example already to calculate the correlation coefficient um, using a spreadsheet. So I'm using this so that we can double check that we get the same answer that you got in the spreadsheet. So first of all, my um, data I'm going to enter in the X column is the humerus length, um, which is my independent variable in this case and then I'm going to enter the height data in the Y column. So I could start by doing that here and I can continue down. Um, you might like to pause the video and do this at the same time as me. Thirty-five, I'm trying to be a little bit careful as I go so I don't make a careless error. But if I do, I can always just go back into the data set. I can access it again and fix it up. So I'll know in this case that if I've made an error uh, because I'll get a different correlation coefficient at the end to the one you can see on the screen here that we already calculated using a spreadsheet. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna press the, the clear AC button it hasn't cleared the, the memory, just the screen. And now I want to go into this stat menu here that's activated by the shift button again. This yellow color matches um, above the number one button. So shift one for stat. And if I do need to change anything in my data set, I can press two to go back into the data set. There it is. But I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, my, I want to act, uh, go into number five, this regression analysis uh, menu. And sure enough, right there in front of me, that R is our pronumeral for the correlation coefficient. So I press three. Now my correlation coefficient is not zero, just like when we use a calculator in this way to calculate standard deviation. I need to press equals to um, calculate that value. And sure enough, to three decimal places, I can see that R in this case is equal to 0 0.836, which matches the method uh, we calculated using a spreadsheet. So I would suggest that um, you take the time to make sure you can do this yourself on your calculator and perhaps you can stop and pause the video to write out the calculator steps uh, either on your learning log or on a summary sheet or in your workbook so that you can refer to them um, quickly again in the future as you practice calculating the correlation coefficients.